grand rising, all kings and queens, all gods and goddesses, all beautiful people. I am be flaws to God. And this morning I just wanna talk about one of Neville Goddard's most famous quotes, and that is feeling is the secret. Right? And why I feel it is important. Alright? Now when it comes to invoking feeling, right? When you're using the techniques and the tools such as affirmations and scripting and imaginal acts, right? Now, some people might say, well, you don't have to invoke feeling in order to manifest your desires, right? Which is also true, and I'm going to get into that um, in just a minute, right? But why I feel invoking feeling is so important, and we never used to always stress on um, the feeling is the secret, right? And it is the mood that determines the fortunes, rather than the fortunes determine the mood, right? It's because um, we've been programmed for so many years, for most of our lives, right? With a lot of doubt and worry and fears, right? Especially when it comes to things surrounding... Well, they say there's no, there's no big manifestation or small manifestations, right? But it's how we perceive them to be. Right, but when it comes to like those big goals and dreams, right, we have a lot of fear and doubt surrounding them, right? And this is where invoking feeling helps a lot because when you invoke feeling while you're in the midst of doing the acts, like your scripting or affirmations or imaginal acts, while you're in the midst of doing it, the feeling not only when you invoke the feeling, it not only makes you feel good, right? But it helps to put you into that state of the wish fulfilled even faster. Right? And that is why I think it is very important. Right? Now, um... Okay, now let me, let me just give you an example now. In terms of um, what people will say. That you don't have to, um... You don't have to invoke feeling to manifest your desires. Right? No. Let's just say... Let's say you have like a dollar and... You have a dollar and 90 cents right now. Right, you have a dollar and ninety cents on you right now, and you wanted to manifest ten cents, right, to make it two dollars. No, deep down inside, deep down inside, you are so confident, right, with your beliefs that you're gonna manifest this ten cent, right, because it's ten cent, right. How we perceive it to be that is nothing big. So, you know, deep down inside, for a fact, that you're gonna manifest this ten cents, right. Even without using techniques and invoking feelings and all of that, you just know, you went straight to the end, you just know with full confidence you're going to manifest these 10 cents, right? And what happens is later on in the day, you might be cleaning up. You might be doing some cleaning or something and end up finding 10 cents. Or you might leave home, might be compelled to leave home and walk down the road or something and you might see a friend or somebody, right? And you know, you might just be compelled to ask them if they have 10 cents and, and there you go, you have the 10 cents. Right? Now let's just say you wanted to manifest no you have no money at all and you wanted to manifest a million dollars. Right? Now there and then for most of us we will start to have doubts and worries, you know, like because it's a million dollars, right? And how we came up with all this fear and doubts and hearing stuff about money, how is the root of all evil, you know? And all types of negative um things surrounding money. You're going to start to have like those worries and doubts and fears. And this is where now the tools come in handy. Such as the affirmations and imaginal acts and scripting and what's not. Right? That's what that's what way the tools now come in handy. You know? To help you to get to the to the final end of that confidence. And that is where the feeling now plays a very important role. I mean when you first start out, right? It might be kind of challenging to get the feeling. Right, but as long as you like practice and persist in it, right, and you invoke that feeling, it's such a beautiful feeling, and it helps to put you in the state of the wish fulfilled even faster, right? Because still, too, you want to operate from a space of love, right? You want to operate from a space of love as well, all right? So, when you when you invoke those feelings and those and those emotions, you know, of joy. And, and excitement because 
when people say you don't have to invoke feeling in order to manifest, that's what they mean. That you don't have to be joyful and happy and excited to manifest your desires. Right? But why not operate from a space of love? Right? And when you're when you're in the midst of it, of doing your techniques, such as your affirmations and what's not, and you invoke that feeling. As I said before, it not only helps you to feel good, but it puts you into the state of the wish fulfilled, right? Which will eventually overshadow, you know, it will, which will eventually, sorry, which would eventually drown out, you know, those negative beliefs and what's not. And it will also help boost your confidence, right? Which will actually lead you to, the, to your destination of feeling satisfied, you know, and confident. So that is why, that is why I feel using emotions and inv invoking emotions and feelings while doing your techniques is very important right now the next type of feeling is the feeling now where you have finished doing your acts such as your affirmations and scripting and imaginal acts that feeling of total confidence right and satisfaction that you already have what it is you wanted you wanted to manifest right so that's where the tools are there to get you to this destination or to get you to this point of total satisfaction especially surrounding those big goals you know and those big dreams you know which we often have doubts and fears about that is what the tools are there for to use right to get you to the final destination of satisfaction and complete confidence right and invoking the feelings you know just feeling invoking those feelings helps to bring you there even faster all right and also your emotions right every emotion you have it triggers the cells in your body right so why not operate as i said from a space of love and excitement and joy you know to bring about your manifestations in a beautiful loving way right so that is why that is why i feel invoking feelings is so important and why never, why never Goddard used to always stress on the point, you know, feeling is the secret. Because when you, when you invoke the feelings and those emotions of love and excitement and joy, right? It brings about your manifestation too in a, in a loving way as well. And it might, it might even get you to your destination, you know, even faster, bringing about the manifestations. Right? So that is my that is my thoughts and my opinions on evoking feelings. And why feeling is the secret is so important, alright? You know, with my videos it's nothing written, it's just you know, I just bring it straight off the top, you know. So yeah, I wanna thank everybody for staying tuned and for subscribing to my channel and supporting as usual. And I just want to send my love out to everybody as usual. Love, peace, joy, prosperity and abundance to one and all. Alright, if you haven't subscribed, you can click the link. Sorry, you can click the bell. You know, and hit the notification bell as well. And stay tuned for more videos, okay? Well, you know, it's soon 5.30 here in Barbados. Soon 5.30 here in the morning. So I'll say, I'll say it's still a bit dark. So with that being said everyone, I am be floss to God. Alright, and just have a wonderful day. Alright? And every day just continue, you know, to work on your desires and never give up. Just continue to persist all the time, alright? So one love. <laughs>